So first of all, I'm very excited. I apologize ahead of time for my voice. I'm uh, actually, I'm experiencing COVID right now. Um, so my voice is a bit odd and I've been uh, quarantined for quite a number of days at home, but I'm okay. Um, I'm also very excited and I um, truly uh, salute the opportunity to speak uh, uh, here with, first of all, Dr. Majid, whom I know and uh, respect very much. I feel that he is my brother. In a relatively short time, we have uh, uh, really felt that this is a true friendship. And this, I think, epitomizes uh, the whole road, the whole path, which um, I think our two countries have uh, experienced. Uh, it's almost been like the breaking of the uh, kind of an iron curtain or the Berlin Wall. This is the impact that uh, the Abraham Accords had, I know, on many Israelis and obviously many, many people throughout the region. Mm -hmm. And when I entered my position as uh, an MK, a member of Knesset, um, one of the first things I did was really ask the Speaker of the Knesset um, to elect me as chairperson of the caucus that would work within the Knesset, within the legislation, um, the legislature of the country uh, to promote and enhance and bring people together exactly as you mentioned. Um, it's a very uh, kind of uh, preliminary step because this is the first of its kind, uh, I would even say uh, worldwide, although very recently a congressional caucus and a senatory caucus were also launched in the United States. I'm in the process right now of uh, meeting my counterparts and there's also a friendship association in the UK parliament. But ours was the first one. It was very exciting. Uh, and apparently not only I thought so, because there were many other candidates that had asked uh, for this honor as well. Uh, very luckily, I was chosen by the speaker as the representative of the coalition. But the beauty of it is that there's also a co-chair from the opposition, meaning that this is bipartisan, this is not a political uh, affiliated issue, but rather a national interest of Israel and the region. And uh, this is indicative